Great interview. Perfect. Okay, I'm recording. Jonathan, this is Rafi Mediavilla from Criticologos.com. Thank you for taking a bit of time to talk about the movie. I, I was glued to my screen uh, all throughout. It reminded, me, it reminded me so much of contact because of everything that's going on with the character with Miles. So congratulations. Thank you very much. And thanks for having me on the show. Listen, uh, it's, it's a difficult movie to, it's all on you. You, you. you have to make sure the story works. You have to make sure that your, your miles works. You have to make sure that the emotions go to uh, uh, translate, uh, translate to the screen. What were the challenges of, 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 of making sure that all those things work throughout the movie? Uh, I think the biggest challenge was we, we had a very limited shooting schedule. We shot the whole film in about 16 days. So there was really no room for error. Um, luckily, we shot consecutively or chronologically. So that kind of helped. Rehe we, we rehearsed the film almost like a play. So we were able to just kind of execute it scene by scene and then progress the physicality of the room along with it. Um, but I think that uh, my co-star, Tamara Perry, Having her actually on set there to play out the scenes, even though she's not on camera for most of the film, spoiler alert, uh, really helped in bringing like a life to the film and, and the character of Miles. Um, but yeah, no, it, it was challenging. I, I wonder, um, it's all about mental health and, and, and the mental state of, of, the, of a soldier. But I wonder how much of, of, of Miles is you... Uh, I, I, you see yourself in Miles, and and how much of Miles is you is is is, is you being being him? Uh, what are what are what are things from Miles that we have in in, in common? Oh boy, I mean, I think that was actually the biggest challenge for me approaching this character was I really don't have that much in common with Miles, and and he's the sort of guy that uh, he could be in a room full of people and totally alone, and in a Approaching putting the character together, I realized that I, I had to find a way to manufacture that isolation. And for me, the way I accomplished it was I essentially turned my fr friends and family who are so loving and supportive, which I'm so fortunate to have them, and said, I don't think I could talk to you while we're shooting this film. And I didn't for about two and a half months. I just cut contact with everyone in my life and kind of put myself into this wallowing hole that this guy exists in. And I think it, in a lot of ways, helped me achieve what was necessary to, to be more like him. Um, other than that, I feel like we can both take a punch and can both be thrown against the walls of a cube for days on end without, you know, putting up a fuss. <laughs> I love that answer because, I mean, I, I, I mean, it makes me jump to this one. And if you had a chance to talk to him, I gave him some advice, given the situation that he was on, what type of advice would you give him? Oh, boy. <laughs> um, I'd probably give him a hug and then tell him to, uh, you got to trust somebody. And, uh, and that, that person can be yourself. You know? I, I want to, I want to speak a bit about his Miles Melton state, and I think a lot of soldiers are gonna identify with him uh, when they go to war. When they come back, they don't see themselves; they they see themselves somewhere else. Um, what what piece of advice would, would you give them? What would what, what would you tell them when you know when soldiers come from abroad from to, to the states and they don't feel themselves? What would you tell them uh, so they can you know gr grasp to that and just put their feet on on the floor? Yeah. Um, I'd probably tell them that it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to open up to those around you. I, I think it's a big paramount piece of this film, which is that PTSD up in, in, in the period of time our miles exist in was still called or was yet to be called Gulf War Syndrome. So there wasn't really a diagnosis for it yet for soldiers returning from war. And this, this movie kind of in a, in a lot of ways earmarks that chapter in history where It, he's right on the precipice of after the soldiers that came back from Iraq were finally diagnosed with PTSD, which was something that only existed socially in communities, but not in regards to war trauma. Um, so I think the film's really important for that reason, too, calling out that I, th I think it's a fact that's not really maybe known by many people that PTSD is somewhat of a present day phenomenon as far as diagnosis goes. 
One final question before I let you go because I know I'm running, I'm running out of time. Invite people You're to go good. see it. Why, why they have to see it? Why they have to go see the movie? I mean, I got my own, I, I got my own reasons. I absolutely was glued to the story from beginning to end, and I, I loved it. And you, you made it work. But why people need to go see the movie? Oh, people need to go see it because it's indie filmmaking at its finest. It's a labor of love. It was a passion project for all involved. Every single member of the crew and cast, it, it was really, we put our heart and soul into it. And it's, personally, I think, being a huge sci-fi fan, unlike anything that's out there, it, there there are parallels. You can try to draw a reference to like the cube and other things, but it's it's not like any of those films. If anything, I'm going to add to that, that they need to see it because it's a good 90 minutes movie and it's difficult to see good 90 minutes movie. And obviously, you just Amen. said it's sci fi. I love sci fi. I, I, if, if you love contact, you're going to love this movie. It's, it's, it's a different take on, on that, on that, on that, on that, on that, on that, on that travel to another parallel story without telling too much. Jonathan, thank you for taking the liberty to, 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 to talk about, about me, about the movie and relations once again. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. It's great talking to you. Bye-bye.